DJs and one DJ. We be getting down with no delay. Mix master Mike, what you got to say? All right, first up we have the Beastie Boys Hello Nasty LP. Yes. Ooh. Classic album, late in their career, but very, very dope record. And your cut on here was? It was three MCs and one DJ. All right, let's check this out. Wouldn't that, Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Oh, yeah. And this is when Mixmaster Mike joined the Beastie Boys yep. because before it was DJ Hurricane. Yep. And then we see him a lot, uh, out here a lot. Mixmaster yeah. Mike. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He came to the store yeah. a few times. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, here's here he, he was playing his uh, he turntable hooked, like a wah wah Well, you hooked a wah wah pedal through his turntable. Yeah. And for me, like being in the Midwest and like, I don't even know, not even. Oops. Go for it. So so yeah, Mixmaster Mike, the Invisible Scratch Pickles, right? A track, but but the, just mainly the ISP Invisible Scratch Pickles, yeah, yeah. And Mixmaster Mike. They totally changed everything for me. Like yeah. wow, I wanted to be a DJ because of Mixmaster Mike. That's great. Beastie Boys just made me want to get into music. These dudes were like, they were so ahead of the curve with everything. Yeah. They they had their own record label. They had merch. They had everything was just so creative and next level and yeah. like. I always just wanted to do that, and I try to do that in my career now. Yeah, and they never took themselves too seriously. I mean, yes. obviously, the, I, don't, I still don't know what the hell is going on in this album cover. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they're flying through space in a sardine, sardine can. can. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just crazy. But, Man. but yeah, that's a really surprising to hear. Um, you know, you're a big fan of ISP and the, yes. the turntable is a movement. You know, oh obviously, goodness. we all come from that same school. I think you mm -hmm. know what yeah. I mean. But. Yeah. Um, that's that's an element that's largely forgotten these days, you know. Dude, now yeah. with this album, was there anything else that stuck out really um, besides this cut? Like, this is your cut. Was there anything else? You're the like, entire album. All right. <laughs> like that's yeah. what hear, but yeah. but seriously, man, like I don't know. This was like I was eighteen, maybe or seventeen or eighteen when this came out, and it was just like a formative time of my life. Yeah. And every single song on this and the way that they didn't give a shit and like just kind of everything about it was so next level yeah. that it just blew my mind but like of course intergalactic the single was like such sure. a big tune yeah. and to this day it still yeah. it still holds yeah, up it still it's goes, such yeah. a dope song yeah but yeah just the way that these dudes would sample things and flip things and be musicians but not care about musicianship it right. was just such a cool thing man okay. oh shoot yeah oh <laughs> yo <laughs> So have you? So have you ha had a minute to look at this yet? The Beastie Boys book it just dropped. I know I haven't. This, this is actually uh, the first time I've week. seen it IRL. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's the Bible. Yeah, I'm Beastie sure. Beastie Boys man. Bible. I saw them on Jimmy Fallon uh, like you doing the interview for it. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you for the mic holds. Yeah, uh, I'm so stoked to get this. I haven't even had a chance to purchase it or yeah. anything like. Wow, dude. Yeah, it's super super amazing. Um, I was just I I got that copy and I was like, man, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to read it, but. Warren was just telling me that the like the audible version on Amazon has yeah. like narration by Chuck D and oh, Madonna, Madonna and Snoop Dogg, yeah, yeah. Okay. Elvis Costello. Yeah. Yo, I'm getting <laughs> that. I'm seriously yeah. downloading yeah. it for my flight. This yeah, is, no, that's what I just yo. said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you exactly. also have to get the physical copy because yeah. of the Yeah, I mean, look at these photos the and photos. just the vibes. Yeah. You know? I don't have a chance to read it, but I'm just going to yeah. look through the photos right now. It's just so cool looking at all them like I don't know. This this was I moved to New York. I lived in New York yeah. for 8 years. Oh wow. I uh, from Chicago right. and like I don't know man something about Beastie Boys and like there was like an era of like skateboarding culture too that I got really into like Zoo York and yeah. like all of that stuff but there was something that happened in New York where there was just like culture was just like New York was the thing that pushed culture forward and art, art forward and yep. all of that and these dudes are like a perfect representation of that like this not give a fuck spirit and just like push things forward yeah, yeah. absolutely like they're swag look at their swag they're yeah, just yeah. killing it <laughs> yeah, yeah. they're killing the yeah. swag dude. clearly oh. clearly not anyway giving man a fuck, like yeah. I, and one last thing on them I know I'm jocking them so yeah. much but like for real I would not be making music if it wasn't for these dudes and and then also i would have never dj'd if it wasn't for mixmaster mike and those dudes yeah. pushing the envelope forward with everything like like he started out that track with him scratching with the wah, wah pedal yeah and just that innovation was like oh cool he like he like thought about it on some other level like i can hook up this turntable right turn it into an instrument yeah and he did that and like for me i was like well then i can do something like that and right. i was even doing that hooking up yeah pedals and stuff and it's just that's how we push culture forward like you get influenced by one person and then totally. hopefully i can do something that you put your own next. spin on it and you move yeah, forward. Exactly, yeah exactly man. yes and exactly yeah shouts out to all these dudes right here yeah, yeah. word beastie boys all right yes. three mcs and one dj wow 
This clip is taken from episode one of Let the Record Show. Check it out below.